okay uh, so we start off with uh, by uh, copying our git clone URL for our application and uh, cloning it into a folder since it's a public repository uh, you need not have any authentication so yeah it's done um, as mentioned in the document there are like uh, two packages one is providing the uh, projects which are necessary for uh, the extend and uh, xtext uh, grammar related stuff and the other one is a sample project um, to uh, which which was used for the implement I mean for the validation and all for, uh, during the thesis discussions um, well yeah uh, let's go into uh, Eclipse and we will import the extent pro xtex project inside sorry existing projects into workspace and we had it here so yeah make sure there are these five projects imported because they are all uh, somehow related to uh, each other mm, we will be getting some dependency issues in this ui.tests if I'm not mistaken some build uh, build path issues but uh, we, yeah but uh, we need not worry about that because uh, we are not uh, concerned about UI.test section anymore our application will work even with, without that um, well yep yeah, uh, we have loaded all these uh, five uh, projects and within this first project we have our grammar yeah uh, as you can see we can see the grammar over here uh, you can just go through that uh, the grammar is actually for uh, the DSL that we generate uh, we are about to create um, the Gherkin feature file uh, so this is the grammar and then there is the generator over here which was used uh, to generate the helper class the test cases and uh, the mock controller so yeah you can just go through them so we need to right click on this first project and we need to run the application the xtex project as a runtime eclipse application yeah we can ignore this and proceed well it takes uh, quite a lot of time just like any other uh, eclipse IDE startup okay so uh, this is our uh, run uh, runtime version of our Eclipse IDE so the first thing is that we can uh, we can use any any Java project but uh, for the demonstration purposes I am using the one that I'm uh, that we have actually got from the uh, repository for yeah for which we had used for the discussion purposes in the thesis report so it's in thesis 3 and yeah the project was here so this is the one this is the project we import that project this uh, this project contains all the scenarios of a purchase order like it contains um, it contains almost like uh, ev ev every uh, state transitions in uh, so uh, but in the discussion if you uh, remember we just considered three methods they were uh, creation of purchase order acceptance of purchase order and uh, rejectance of purchase order so uh, this feature file actually handles the complete state transitions but in order to confine this uh, this video to our uh, discussion within the thesis report I am removing uh, some extra stuffs so 
so yeah now we are having only two scenario outlines one is for create PO and then uh, for pending PO which means accept or reject and also we will just uh, remove the scenarios also and keep it to just two scenarios one is for create creation and acceptance of purchase order and the other will be creation and rejection of purchase order so yeah the one will corresponding correspond to acts of PO and the two here will correspond to reject correspond to reject PO so we can save this and similarly this is this is the source folder which we have selected source hyphen gen which were selected to generate all the classes so as you can see there are this is the mock controller this is the helper class for the tests and this is the this class contains the test cases and then there are mock repositories mock and the actual repositories so we will just remove this one because the purpose of this demo is to uh, show that these classes are getting generated so we just remove it and uh, then there was this actual controller which we had implemented we had created using TDD approach since we are not considering purchase order extension I am removing everything related to uh, purchase order extension because this uh, purchase order extension repository and uh, the corresponding the related models will not be generated and through so it would throw some errors and there are some uh, methods which we are not considering during this demo for example cancel PO reject PO we, we had removed all these methods from uh, our feature file to uh, to make this demo very concise and uh, tidy so yeah now we just have three methods and uh, yeah that's pretty much it now we can generate so in order to generate we should go to project and we should click on uh, clean so yeah we are going to clean this project so yeah as you can see the two packages got created again with uh, the corresponding classes so yep yeah, uh, this is the again this is the mock controller this is the helper class for uh, uh, the tests uh, which provides the uh, request body for the tests and this is the test cases as you remember uh, we had actually provided only two scenarios so there will be only two test cases here and this will be our mock controller with uh, mainly three uh, mainly three methods so um, yeah that's pretty much it the generation is done now uh, actually this actual controller was supposed to be generated in TDD form but uh, since it's been like already generated so I'm just leaving it like that but uh, yeah we will run this uh, this class the test class against our actual controller um, well yeah uh, so there were two tests and both the tests have uh, passed against the uh, against the actual controller mm, so yeah uh, that's pretty much it